Well, I'm here with a dozen chooks, a whiny dog, and an ex pig. And I just want to show you um, how effective it is uh, with minimal equipment to get the hair off a pig. All right, you don't need a big vat that you can drop it in. You don't need to go get a cast iron uh, tub or anything like that. You need a saucepan. You need some way of getting a decent vat of hot water and you need a pig. So we'll have a look at it and I'll show you just how effective it is. Oh, and you also go and, you need to go and nick a towel. All right, some scungy thing or something really nice, but you it's probably wreck the relationship if you, <laughs> if you choose badly. Let's cover him up. So just here I have a, a drum with an old copper boiler in it. Um, normally I'd put fire in underneath, but just, just so I can control the temperature better, I've, I've actually running it on gas. So I've got a place where I'm boiling some water and I've got some cold water to throw in. What I'm trying to do is just keep this temperature up here in the very, very low 70s. Okay, certainly under about 74, 73. When you're dunking a pig, or a chicken for that matter, you want it to be about 65 degrees C. We'll put the Fahrenheit bit down below. Um, you want it at a particular temperature. We do have it a bit hotter with this method where I'm going to be pouring water over the pig just because you're not immersing the whole thing in there so it does need to be a little bit warmer. This towel that I've put over the pig, what it does is it just holds the water against the skin of the pig for a little bit longer rather than it just pouring straight off. So if you think about what that towel is doing you, what you want is the towel to be contacting it everywhere. So you sort of snug it in tight, especially along the belly and along the back there. You're not aiming to do the whole pig in one hit. This pig will probably get a quarter done all in one hit though. The most fiddly parts are going to be the feet and the head. It usually takes about 40 seconds to a minute for the hot water to start working on the hairs. And also by having a uh, container of cold water already, as you take some pots out, you can throw it back in the hot water. <laughs> All right, that looks about right. Um, to see if we're effective, we just see if we can pluck a few hairs out. Oh, yep. Oh, look at that. Doesn't need to be anything fancy to scrape a pig. So that's about all we've got for the scraping. So there's still a couple of hairs that don't come off and of course further up here. So we'll put the towel back over. With these knives, you're not looking to shave the hair. These knives could. So holding it vertically like that, it does actually just scrape it off. You're looking to scrape the hair off and that skin. If you just shave it off, you'll leave all bristles, particularly if you're gonna use the back fat or something like that. This will look all nice in the skin, but you'll have all these little hairs extending into the fat that you wanna use and you'll have to cut that away. So we're scraping it away. Can't get any more. Oh, bye -bye. Any that doesn't come out now, you just put more hot water on and it will come out. When it gets cool again, um, the, the hairs will be stuck in there. That's why you can't just douse the whole pig and then go ahead and uh, you know, like scrape all the stuff off. You need to just keep reapplying it. So, when it starts, to, when you see hairs pulling out, work quick. And that's why I was using my old parang here, just because it's got that nice broad surface. And while the going's good, I can get as much hair as I can off. All right, we'll cover him up again. We'll go a bit more hot water. If you, um, if you douse that pig in water that's too hot, it can set the hairs in there. And once they're set, they're cooked in, <laughs> and then you're done. So we really need to just, with this dousing water, I'd, yeah, want to keep it under about 75. When you get that temperature right, you can make real progress. That's important when you're dealing with a big pig like her. I was saying, my friend and neighbor Don, he came over for, to help us deal with 190 kilos of pig. And it was a big job, 
but it wasn't as bad as what we thought it was going to be. All right, some of these hairs, um, oh, they scrape off all right, but there will be some hairs still on the carcass when you're done. You can't really avoid it, like there'll be some spare hairs there. I like to burn them off with a little blowtorch. This stuff under here is attached in much more lightly than what's on the back, which makes sense the way the pigs fight. So it doesn't take quite as much to get the hairs off, but still, you know, these ones aren't coming out super easy. They're either going to have to be shaved or burnt off. If your relationship's strong enough to pinch two towels, you should do it. Because when you come, if you're by yourself, it's nice to be able to just prop the pig like that. All of this stuff's not going to really hang in there, you know, that strongly, but it is nice to be able to just prop the pig up. Once we clean all that up, we're just about done. I found this last little bit, uh, these fiddly little hoofs. It's better if you, rather than pouring the pan over, if you can arrange it like we've got our old mate here <laughs> uh, over the end of a bench and you can pop his leg in a, a bucket or I'm using a pan because it's only a small pig. Um, if you can soak it for two minutes, then the rest of that skin and hair should peel off nicely off the trotter and um, you should be able to get the toenails off as well. Um, and then you'll, it'll look like a, a shop bought product. Let's have a look. Oh, yep. <laughs> That's a good test. So we'll just glove his hand first. Those nails came off all right. Those ones are always a little bit recalcitrant. That one's not too bad. I do, I do have this little meat hook we straightened out on another pig. But getting a hook in there, there you go, and you can just pop that nail off. The trotter's good. Just a little bit of time and you get it off easy. Yeah, so two minutes. Two minutes in 65, 67 degree water. You've got a couple of degrees either side of that 65 mark. Um, and that cleaned up really, really well. So just one of these little uh, map gas, little soldering gas things is um, really, really handy just to, to get rid of any last little bits of hair. You don't want to go too much. Uh, you can just see the skin shrink a little bit if, you, if you're going a bit overboard, it actually cooks it. Okay, so that's it. I, I hope you found that, um, that useful. It, it's well worth having a go at. So just remember, get your water temperature right. Um, 65 degrees if you're dunking them. For these, we found it about 70 to 73 degrees. That's um, Celsius, Fahrenheit's down here. Um, and it, it's just a really, I can highly recommend doing it this way, um, grab a towel. You can have it at a nice working height. When we've dunked it before, you know, we needed a tractor or you're gonna need like some lifting mechanism like this. Once you've got the pig there, you just need to be able to roll it over. That is it. So this is uh, really, really quick. Actually, it's, it's quicker than you'd think. Really, really effective. I like it, so give it a go. Um, and hit the like button if you got something out of it.